have proved that you fight well. Now you can join us. Teacups. Teacups. Wake up, check your phone. Ignore the alarm, you're still alone. Wake up, rewind the night. Who are you? But also kind of who am I? Wake up, check your phone. Tweet party for the apocalypse. Don't forget to RSVP. Think about how the polar bears are running out of ice. But hey, this photo got a lot of likes. Get down, but don't feel down. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another video. I actually filmed the opening segment for this before I started the challenge, but the entire video was out of focus. So here I am refilming it after my challenge is over but I'm gonna try to keep it the same way as it was before so I wanted to do this 30 day squat challenge because during the past year with staying home and um, being on my butt more I feel like my booty has sagged a little bit you know and I haven't been working out regularly and I needed a little push I'm always hearing people say like oh you just have to work out like 10 minutes a day you know 10 minutes a day can make a huge difference so I wanted to test it out and see if it really does make a difference like does it really make a difference just 10 minutes a day so I was contemplating what workout should I do for 10 minutes every day and I thought the easiest would be squats I wanted to see after 30 days is my booty gonna be lifted I'm gonna be putting it to the test for you guys we'll see what the results are after 30 days so I will do the comparison pictures from day 1 to day 30 and show you guys the changes all right, without further ado, let's get started with day one. Oh, I'm done. Oh my god. I'm not even kidding. My legs are like shaking trying to go down the stairs. I am so out of shape. Alright, day two. Going up to the rooftop as soon as I'm awake. And I'm really sore. So I don't know how low I can go for the squats because like right here is so sore. The weather isn't as great today. So sore, it hurts. It is day three and I'm so sore. I think I'm gonna have to take a break today and continue tomorrow as day three because I cannot even like bend my knees a little bit right now. I'm at radio. I didn't have time to do squats at home today, so I just brought my camera to radio and I'm gonna do squats during the song break. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. After two days, I was really sore here. Now I'm sore right above my kneecaps. <laughs> Why are you working out? <laughs> I'm doing this challenge. <laughs> What's what the challenge? Doing? <laughs> doing 100 squats every day for 30 days. Wow. Oh. It's only my like day three. <laughs> no, like, I lost who's count. Who's doing you? <laughs> 32, 25, no. 72. I don't know what my count is now. Damn it. Uh, day four. I'm going to use this today. didn't feel like doing squats today hence the reason why I put it off till 11 p.m. now I have no choice but to do it I'm not really sore anymore but I just didn't get good sleep it's only like 10 minutes less than so I gotta do it day five from home from radio yes I put off doing squats till the last minute today again the roof today again let's get it i don't even know if i'm doing this right is this even fun to watch i don't know it's just me doing squats three more weeks to go i brought my resistance band let's go it's definitely way more 
more tough with the resistance band. After the third set, I'm just like, I did it. Really don't feel like doing it today, honestly. As you can tell by my energy level right now, I don't even know what day it is today. What day is it? I don't know. I'll find out while I'm editing. really tell if there's that much of a difference. We'll continue till 30 days just to see. These days when I do squats, my right knee has been popping every time I come up. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't think it's a good thing, but it doesn't hurt, it just makes noises. It shouldn't be that much of an issue, right? like a week left oh my god it's finally going to be over soon Set of a hundred squats. Look how pretty the sky is today. Oh, look at those clouds. about to do my squats for today and I uploaded my vlog yesterday and I kind of mentioned that I'm doing the 30 day challenge and someone commented that they did 100 squats for two years and they saw no difference for two years 100 squats every day for two years and they didn't see any difference so I'm kind of discouraged now but I mean, I'm almost done. I literally just have like two more days. So I'm just gonna do it. Oh my God, the weather is so beautiful today. I gotta use this as my backdrop today because it's just so gorgeous. Good weather makes me so happy. Ooh. 
Whew. It burns today. Oh, I did two sets of jump squats. Feel good though. I wish I could just live somewhere that had this weather every single day. Jeez, look at the sky. I literally have two more days to go. We are almost done with 30 days. You know, and when any, anybody does show, you know, hashtag. I made it. I made it to day 30. I'm actually gonna film the after part tomorrow because I don't have time today. I just gotta quickly do my squats and then go downstairs and change and leave. So. I will come back tomorrow to the rooftop and I will show you guys the after and the transformation. Oh my god, I can't believe it's day there. <laughs> Let's check out my booty before the 30 day challenge and after the 30 day challenge. I'm looking at it for the first time too. Why am I like nervous? <sighs> um, maybe I should have worn the same top. I don't know, with this picture I feel like my butt got a little round. Like a little rounder from the back my left side i really can't tell because now my torso just looks longer in the right picture so i don't know if my butt has actually been lifted i think i should have taken measurements of my butt before and after so i can compare it but i only have pictures to look at and of course that's not like 100 percent accurate because that can look different depending on the angles and stuff but like I don't know, I feel like my butt has become more firm and only I know that because, you know, obviously I can't let you guys poke it or touch it. There's not like a dramatic difference with the before and after pictures, but I mean, I didn't use any weights. It was just my body weight. I did the same workouts every single day. Uh, but I think the best thing I got out of this 30 day squat challenge was that I felt very disciplined. I'm not very good with self-discipline. There were some days when I put it off till the last minute and I only did it because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this done. But just knowing that I got it done made me feel very accomplished. And I could see the reason why so many people say like workout first thing in the morning because the fact that you got a workout done and you were disciplined enough to go through with it, you feel more prepared for the rest of your day and last but not least i feel stronger and when i first started doing the squats i was struggling with like the first two sets and i was very sore but now um i don't really get sore at all unless i do jump squats yeah so if you were to ask me does 10 minutes of working out make a difference i would say yes not just physically because of course if you're working out you are going to get stronger but the more important thing is that you see a change in your energy and mood level since i am planning to consistently work out a little more because the weather is nice and you guys know how much i love the good weather let me know what workout i should try next but please don't say burpees or push-ups or pull-ups because there's no way in hell i can do them I hate burpees, so please, anything but those three. So something that's easy to do, something that I can do at radio too. <laughs> and if I do film another video like this, I'll make sure to get the exact measurements so I can be like, I gained a whole like one centimeter of booty. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment on what I should try next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!